the best remedy that I uh, recommend to everyone, because the majority of people come to me asking what crystal is good for love, what crystal is good for money. So for me, it's like there's always just one thing that I always recommend and it helps the one who wears it, especially if you wear it on your left wrist. Hi, I'm Sal. I'm a crystal expert and here are my top five crystal bracelets that can help you attract money and wealth. Garnet, Amethyst, Jade, Citrine, Kyanite. If you order now and visit eatreadlove.me, you are able to get a free double Piao bracelet just for you. Libra! It's crazy! So, no tears. So it's like, now we good. Okay. So we're gonna look into your star. Uh, until now. Okay. I mean, I'm all, I will be forever indebted for you guys. Okay. It was a disaster for me. You know, to show into camera like that. But I appreciate until now all the love, support, and all the people who's, you know, uh, commented there. Thank you very much. Okay, like that kind of support you get that from a Libra. I'm touched. Oh, no, we're not gonna go there, Libra. Let's go. Let me just do my job here. Okay. <laughs> so before I start, you're gonna do your oracle. We're gonna do your um, tar uh, tarot here. And it's a full reading, no extended. I'm gonna read you the whole deal. Okay. Because you guys are, you know, so supportive of us here. But this is a free double Piao, Black Obsidian City. And this is our number one seller, but it's free. It's worth $70. Uh, now, why can't, how can I just give it to everyone? Well, it's because I want everybody to have that sense of protection with this one. If you order any of our Infinity Fortune okay, collection, this comes from free. No codes needed. We ship internationally, more than 80 countries. And free shipping here in the U.S. I'll tag every any, everything in the corner of this video for the Libra. Okay, and while I'm shuffling here, let me just explain the whole format here. I'm not the, you know, I'm not the probably regular reader that you probably have seen. If you're new, I own a jewelry store here in Los Angeles. We've been here for four years. And I work with crystals a lot, you know, during this time. I mean, even before that, and I recommend crystals to certain situations that you're going through. So expect a lot of products, a lot of recommendation. And if that's something that annoys you, I feel like it's okay for you to go because I don't want you upset. I just want, you know, people who likes crystals. Like I just want us to have this moment. We share an experience and you don't have to like it because if you just want to have a straight up reading, this is not the reading for you because I like to deviate. I like to do this, you know, and it's my safe space here. And I like to keep it as my safe space. Like I can do what I want because I created this, you know, in that energy. Okay. And then other people like it. Now, here we go. Hey, ooh, here we go, Libra. Hmm. Emotions run high. Okay. Let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred, Sal. Yin is the first card, which means care, nurture, and because this is like not feeling protected. The yin is the part where, because when I did Tai Chi Kwai Gong, okay, that's where I, how I heal my yin side. So I did it for probably six months. I think I did it for six months. Um, but this was like four or five years ago. Oh, you guys remember that video also. I was crying. I had I had a... You know, uh, you know, I had, I was going through something. So I started before I started yoga. I was doing Kwai Gong or Tai Chi, which is a Yin kind of yoga. So this may be something that you need to to do. I would suggest that if you're trying to heal, it has helped me. And this is your crossroads. You have number two here, which is a partnership. Now you see here this basin, and then there's like uh, I think it's empty, but there are some imaginary water here. So you may feel a sense of relief, but it's all about like releasing that kind of energy. Like, you know, like you had a good cry, that kind, okay? So that's something probably that can cleanse the soul, they say. I mean, we did that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, there's this energy about, because this is the never ending story. And then you have a yes, love, no love. There's a timer. I feel like the frustration comes in because either you're trying to connect with them and it never gets to a point where everything is fine, everything is happy. Uh, and you're always having issues in the relationship. And it's time and time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. 
I'm seeing here right now in your situation, it's like the frustration is like you don't even want to look at this anymore. And let me go psychic on you. And it feels like sometimes you hum, like, mm -hmm, like you just try to meditate. I feel like this is some things that you do, like trying to tune yourself out, you know, because you want just peace and harmony and you just want to tune out. Like, I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to deal with this right now. This is what you're saying to yourself. And I just want to come back to myself and have a peace. Like, this is what you're saying here. Mm -hmm. Then you have here flexible which is a card of like, you know, you as an air sign, you go with the flow, you do this, you do that, and it's fine. But I feel also that you are at a breaking point. You've been considerate to your person and to other people, chances are. And this is something that you probably are longing for, Libra, is I can be flexible to everyone, but when I ask for them to, uh, you know, be, be kind of like a cater to me, I'm not asking for much, you know, you want it, they don't. And that's where you're breaking point. This is what I'm seeing. It's like you're asking, you're not asking for much, but then you also don't get anything. I'm not asking for much, but I still don't get anything. Like, what's wrong with that, right? And this is what you're internalizing right now, which I feel you don't ask people to, you know, like, be flexible for you. Like, do that to yourself. Like, you know what you give to others, you give it back to you. And I feel like that's where it all starts. That's the yin part. So you're caring, you're nurturing, you accommodate, you do that to yourself. You care, you nurture, and then you accommodate. Now, one thing that I recommend for that one is the energy of the um, the pink opal and the cherry quartz. Now, the pink opal and cherry quartz, it has this energy of like forgiving. It's like forgiving oneself or not, um, how do you say this? Like, there, because I, I sense a guilt, like you, you're guilty because you're not taking care of yourself. But yet, you're not doing it. So you got to release that energy. So for me, it's going to be the pink opal, okay, and the cherry quartz. For people who's working in that energy, it uplifts your and It will uplift you to don't feel guilty of taking care of yourself. Or don't feel guilty of saying no and saying yes to you first. That's a very important, okay? Let me see here now. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, here we go. So the Libra right now, I feel like you're accepting that there was something that's over. Like you don't want to wait. Mm -hmm. There's a part of you that you're saying here, Emperor, the Death, and the Seven of Pentacles. I cannot wait for you. This is not how I want my life to be. Because now you have the Emperor, which is the... The yang, this is taking charge. This right here, not taking charge. So you've taken back your power, we love. Okay. And then it freed you from feeling of like exhaustion. Okay. So you're exhausted. You got the death, you get the seven of pentacles. You're tired of putting effort because this is this one. You you know, you you watch, you nurture the tree to grow. That's what it is. And then you're waiting for things to blossom. So relationship-wise, you've waited for it to come through, like Ten of Pentacles, you spend time, date, you know, plan all these things, go on vacation, the happy things. And then it led you here, the death card. So it it didn't wind up how you pictured it to be. Okay, it didn't. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It didn't. Oh, ooh. Yeah, so you're in a deep state of healing. You have a Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Hermit. So the alone time is doing you work. It's giving you justice, which is good. The cutting of ties is good. The Four of Swords energy here is good because it's. it feels like right now you're more on the clarity. You're more on like, oh, now I understand what I can and can't. And, you know, so... It's a deep spiritual work that I'm seeing here. And you start, you also start from nothing here. So you're going really through a, a cleansing kind of a cycle. Now, not everybody, of course, uh, how to say this, um, understand the, 
the energy of if you're doing the yin, because what I would recommend for you is pearl, okay? Now, pearl, okay, you can wear it on your right wrist with a pearl. Now, pearl is the yin, it's moon, and it's very soothing and it's very calming. I've recommended this to so many people about like, they're, they, you know, like normally like you have Rahu first house, you're scared, you're stressed, you're kind of like delusional, meaning like you don't really know what's going on. So a pearl is going to be very, very good for you, okay? So you wear a pearl, is what I'm seeing, because you're going to nurture the spirit inside of you, you're going to nurture yourself, you're going to find peace, you're going to find balance. But I feel like you're really queen of swords. You're done with this. This is like done, 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 okay? Okay. Now let's see what your person is, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have here the person that you're dealing with is, uh, it feels like they're Hierophant, the King of Cups, and the Two of Wands. I feel like they're going to take a step back also. It's not, they're, see, from what I'm seeing here, they're not in the place, is what they're saying. They're not in the place to make a decision right now about the relationship. And this is where you feel the alone part. That they would think of themselves first. Let me get my crystal and go psychic on you. Um, they would think of your their self and not an us. And you guys are a unit already. So the hermit feels alone, which is you. And then the king of cups, the two of ones, and the higher of one, which is them. It shows the level of can be selfish, okay, on their end. Now, there is a stable structure that they're trying to see them through, but I feel that's not yet what they want. Like, if there's a marriage, there's a relationship in the future, that's not something that they're holding back from, but that's something that it's like, oh, well, I'm going to have to think about that first, okay? Oh, I feel like they're not ready, okay. The two weeks of October. You got a six of ones here and the ten of swords. They're not ready. I feel like this is a person who shops around first. Collect and collect and then select. Ten of swords with the king of cups. I feel like that's a separation. And if they ask you for the time, two of ones. Oh. Well, I guess it's not over though, but there's the lovers. They will... Here's what uh, what the takeaway here. You have lovers as a choice. It's a Gemini card. You have Taurus. You have Sag. You have Leo. You have Scorpio. Here's the takeaway here, Libra. They're not ready to decide on this because the six of ones and the lovers is here. The feelings, mutual. The relationship, not. Feelings is mutual, but relationship is not. Because you're coming in to offer the commitment. They're not there. Now, if it's you're asking about, oh, do they love you? Yes. Do they care about you? Yes. Do they want to be with you as a couple or as a union with a hierophant? I don't think that's uh, that's in the cards right now here. Mm -hmm. And like this one, what I would recommend for, for example, like you're going through this kind of cycle is stable structure, emotional. Okay, there we go. What I would recommend here, okay, is a tiger's eye. That has helped me when I'm emotional. That has helped me when I'm trying to ground myself and stay here and not go out there when I'm, I'm stressed a lot, okay? So tiger's eye is gonna be very, very good for you. So that I recommend. It's, I don't see this as, a, as, as an over. I feel like these two weeks is more of like a, a quiet time between you and your person, okay? Well, everything is in the corner of this video. Make sure to check out, of course, eatreadlove.me. Our store here is in Los Angeles, so make sure visit us, okay? And at the same time, um, don't forget to get your free double PL if you get any of our Infinity Fortune. I'll see you guys again.